Okay, we are back playing Hearthstone. I've decided to replace my headset so the audio issues we are having with my webcam and the new acoustics in the new room are now a moot point because I have uh, this mic here which works really nicely. Um, so we're back playing Hearthstone. We're in my Loot Crate t-shirt and as promised we're going to do a new series, No Card is Bad. Uh, today we're kind of tackling Cursed Blade and Heroic Strike, uh, both considered relatively bad. And so we're going to take it into Ranked Standard. Before we take it into Ranked Standard, an important part of this series that I do it run through the deck. So, um, what I started with was Cursed Blade. I have a really crappy screenshot underneath this Convert to Wild nonsense, right? Right there, uh, it says, uh, to inner age and an abusive sergeant. Um, so we started with a Cursed Blade. Cursed Blade is a 2-3 weapon that costs 1 and doubles all the damage dealt to your hero. It sucks pretty bad, gener generally, but we're proving that no card always sucks. So, um, the, the goal here is to build a Cursed Blade deck. So we're dealing all... The nice thing is it's turn 1, 6 damage, but I have to go over 3 turns. So... Uh, come out of Heroic Strike, give your hero plus four attack this turn. That's a decent removal spell, but if we couple it with Cursed Blade, this is like six damage to the face. So I figured we'd go with an aggressive shell. Going for an aggressive shell, we want pirates um, into an Arcanite Reaper like most aggressive shells would go. So Inner Rage, because it's kind of like a zero drop burn spell on an hasty guy. Abusive Sergeant, why don't I have two? I actually only own one. Cursed Blades. Zoth's first mate gives us another weapon. It's a one-drop. It's a pirate. Sir Finley to give us the hunter hero power. Upgrade to upgrade the Arcanite Reaper. Bloodsail Raider, which, you know, even if I go Cursed Blade, you know, that's two-drop, four-three. That's phenomenal. Guy Fieri's War Axe. Heroic Strike. Rampage. It's an ag aggressive card, in my opinion, and, you know, we can couple with Inner Rage for something strong. Bloodsail Cultists. Uh, Bloodsail Cultist is a... Uh, Upgrade on a body. Well, once again, attempt to upgrade the Reaper, and that's why we have pirates. Frothing Berserker. It's a good aggressive card. Why do I have one? I only own one. Raging Worgen. It's a good aggressive card. It couples really well with these Inner Rage, Rampage nonsense. Wolf Rider is just a hard hitter. Dread Corsair. Pirate. He's useful when I'm playing a ton of weapons, which this deck is, because I'm trying to capitalize on I always have a weapon. Um, why do I only have one? I'll take three guesses. If it takes you more than one, you're an idiot. Uh, Corcron Elite. Charge. It's just a, got another heavy hitter. Mortal Strike. It's a, a fireball, basically, to finish him off. It's worse, yeah, but I mean, it, it'll be a fireball when I need it to be. Or just four if I need it for. Why do I only have one? You know why. And Arcanite Reaper is to finish off the aggressive deck. So. We are going to take this bad boy into ranked. My goal with this series is instead of doing one game like we normally do, I'm going to play until you have seen Cursed Blade do its jobs. Maybe we won't win the game, but at least see what I see. Because I don't want to, you know, oh, we built Cursed Blade the deck and never drew a Cursed Blade and it won. Yeah, we did, but it wasn't, you know, the goal. Yeah. Versus that being said, I'm going to play these games like I'm really you playing the game. Victory or death! I'm going to toss the Nzoths here, but I can go one, two, three. <laughs> Greetings. Hello. Sure, so Mana Worm means it's probably Tempo Mage. We're gonna Finley, hoping for an aggressive hero power. A life tap's an aggressive hero power, but it doesn't play too nicely with uh, Curse Blade. I'm gonna go Fire Blast. I don't know if it's the correct call, but it's the call that feels more correct to me. So that's what we're gonna go with. Someday I'll be just like that's a shocking play for Tempo Mage. Wow, all to my face. Cheers. That 
that's obnoxious. Um, it's like Guy Fury's more active. Do a decent relevant turn next turn. Finley hit. Play my nope. Finley, play my raider, hit. Is decent. Oh, I can pay the sorcerer's apprentice. That was an interesting order. I'll go my Reaper. I'm gonna burn my coin here. I can ping this next turn. It leaves my Sorcerer's Apprentice up, but I'm not super worried. I'm relatively low on life, which sucks, but there's no avoiding that. On the bright side, Mortal Strike is up. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Just what I wanted. Card advantage for the Temple Mage. Okay, well that was pretty much worst case in here. damage. Next turn I can hit play the Reaper. Following turn I can cultist to pump the Reaper up. The Reaper's a fireball on a stick once I have it. Oh, well, there's a frostbolt. That's pretty bad for me. Oh, and there's a forbidden flame. That one's also pretty bad for me. Hey, it's Curse Blade. I don't have the pirates, so I'm not going to get the trigger out there. I'm just going to try and pound damage in. But we can pretty much write off this game as game one as Cursed Blade has failed. Oh, it's Emperor Thoris. Alright, check out this young plague. Oh man, I have lethal next turn if he doesn't kill me. Or wipe my guys. If those four cards stand are worthless, we win. It. Oh, I that might be worthless. It. Come on, let me burst him for 18. It'll be so satisfying. What to do? What to do? Well, that complicates things. That's pretty bad. Um, this is bad because <laughs> it puts. <laughs> okay, well, my no card is bad deck has drawn cards that I didn't want. Shocked. So I need to blow this here. I can use that though to get there. Still puts me in a decent spot. Yeah, I didn't say every card is excellent. The point of the series is no card is Bad. Bad beings where I would never want it. Uh, well, I lost the game anyway. Well played. Am 
watch here go higher than this? I feel like it's lower than I was in my other. It does go higher. Okay, well. You know, that's that's life, that's what happens. We're gonna hop into ranked standard again. I uh, my wild ranked I take seriously. Yeah, this hand. Bring it on. This hand's really bad. We're gonna take this all back. See you later. Show me a cursed blade. Yes! I got the cards when I needed them. Let's go. Draw better three drop. Upgrade's not what I want here. Turn three, I've done a third of his health with just using my turn one and turn two bad cards. This is the game we were dreaming of. See, he's armoring up because he's gonna see. Oh, frothing! Why didn't I upgrade my cursed blade? Because I'm an idiot. Because I have better weapons. The cursed blade is a. You see that? Six to his face. Whap, whap, whap. Cursed blade. Heroic strike. A little bit more damage in. That was some gameplay. You see why that card was good? That card was good here. That doesn't seem excellent. Control warrior. Now this is just a bad matchup for what we're playing. Um, I play this. It doesn't get the pump, but that's. I I can't just hold my dick. The game. Hold my dick. The game. I'm an idiot. I always forget upgrade can do the upgrade thing. We're actually gonna enrage this. Die. Control Wars is gonna be a bad matchup in general because it's very controlly. Whirlwind would suck for me here, as would revenge. Um, Let the pain speak to me. Acolyte's not so bad. Whirlwind is. Warwind is bad. <sighs> Frick. We are punching through the control warrior though because of the momentum we got from the cursed blade. So I'm I'm pleased with this game. I think it demonstrated exactly what Curse Blade does. Oh, there's the second whirlwind. It's drawn a lot of cards. We have four more cards than I have. Revenge would be bad here, but I doubt he's playing revenge because. We're at rank 20. Execute would... I guess it's like one out of the way, but it... 
doesn't really matter here. Um, yeah, we're having to go pretty bad. Freaking useless. I know it's bad to hold against Control Warrior, but I'm. This is. I mean, maybe the, the Blood Cell Cult is. Yeah, I should have played that. I said. Let the pain speak to me. Well, this is a Reaper deck. So I still have high hopes if I, have a, if I draw a Reaper. I'm actually still in this if I draw a Reaper. Reaper's 18 damage when I have an upgrade in hand. What now? I'm just staring at my cra my crappy screenshot Cthulhu. of my deck list. Oh, this is bad. My next draw is a Reaper at Mortal Strike. I still beat this Cthulhu Druid. By the power of Ragnaros, I have the power! I'm just curving out badly. I'm sure if you guys look at my deck list, if I've been drawing some of the like a uh, Guy Fieri's or Welcome to the uh, Wolf Rider, yeah. That's pretty great you now. Um, so it, it's a bad matchup and I'm curving out badly, but you guys saw how I took off and then I kinda hit a wall. If I hadn't hit that wall, oh, I think Rambo did I realize that I should be focusing on killing the Thorison, but I just want to demonstrate how... Well, I guess I'm not actually going to win this race. But, hopefully that at least drills home the point of... Caffeine shelters us! What? Well, yeah, it's a bad matchup. Caffeine shelters us! Um, but it drills home the point of, you know, how effective that... Cursed Blade in a heroic strike, the tempo I gained from that would be. Crush you. <laughs> Greetings. Can't fire me, I quit. Okay, well, I lost my games, but um, as you saw, that was Cursed Blade in a heroic strike, because a very strong start, and then I kind of didn't curve out so hot. So I will say that was a victory for the deck. I have won games of this deck before. Um, 
I hope that demoed why Curse Blade. There are situations where you would want Curse Blade, this deck being one of them. Um, like I said in the last video, if you have suggestions on cards you think are bad and want me to build around to prove that they're not bad, put it in below. Uh, Charlie suggested that I play Angry Chicken, and I haven't had it too of. So, next episode, Angry Chicken. I'm going to take it in. I'm going to show you why that card's useful in certain circumstances. And thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, like I discussed before, if you even have a minor interest in playing Hearthstone, there's a link in my description of the video for to referral, and I'll get reward. You start with extra cards, I get rewards, uh, a skin, and then cards if you sign up. So hey, sign up. You get off the, you know, get off the starting board faster. I get extra rewards. It's a win-win. So help me out. Help yourselves out by playing the game. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time in episode two of There's No Such Thing as a Bad Card. Thanks for watching.